One day, I was in the garden, and I heard a rustling in the undergrowth. When I investigated, I found a baby hedgehog who was busy padding the nest with dried sage leaves. Oh, to be a little hedgehog sleeping on a bed of sage and moss. We are very lucky. We've had hedgehogs in the garden since my parents moved here. But a baby hog is always exciting to see. We live in the city, and though we try to make the garden as welcoming to hedgehogs, birds and other critters as we can, still, I worry that one day they might just disappear, like so many species have disappeared over the years. Did you see that? It sneezed! So, I wanted to do something special to mark the occasion. To let our newest little hog know that it's welcome here and appreciated. That's why I'm making a hedgehog birthday cake. Feeding hedgehogs presents a slight problem. The food they enjoy most, I mean apart from their natural diet, the food that we could feed them that hedgehogs enjoy most is cat food. But cat food attracts cats. Quite a number of our neighbors let their cats out unsupervised and that puts birds, bats and other mammals in danger. So cat food is out. There's more than enough cats visiting the garden without putting food out as an extra incentive for them to come. One time I bought specialty hedgehog food, but it's both quite expensive and it stinks pretty bad. So the hedgehog food we usually put out is freeze-dried mealworms and they seem to enjoy them quite a bit. I love that little crunching sound. Everything hedgehogs do is so cute. I just love them. And yes, we feed our hedgehogs a small bowl of mealworms a day. As you probably know, insect populations have declined quite drastically. And because of that and other contributing reasons, hedgehogs have lost in numbers as well. That's why we feed them. For this hedgehog treat we're making today, you'll need mealworms, of course. I'm also adding grasses, herbs and berries from corners of the garden where they like to hang out, to make it smell more familiar. I've seen hedgehogs hang out under this bush quite a bit. I don't actually know what it's called, but it's got these very pretty red berries and also some really big thorns, which have drawn blood quite a few times when I try to cut it back. But the hedgehogs love it. <laughs> I guess the thorns protect them and make them feel safe. So a few berries go into the treat, and if they don't like them, they can just eat around them. Additionally, you'll need some gelatin. I looked it up, and while gelatin adds nothing nutritionally, it is safe for hedgehogs. Oh, by the by, everything I'm saying counts only for the wild European hedgehog. Pet hedgehogs are a different species. They're usually African pygmy hedgehogs, which lead very different lives and have very different needs. So don't use anything I'm saying here and apply it to your pet. Anyways, we'll also need a cake tin. I'm using a Google Hoop for added cuteness. Start by dissolving the gelatin. I'm going to set that aside. While the gelatin is doing its thing, I will cut up the time into convenient pieces so that I won't need to mess around with it during assembly. The gelatin is ready and I switched it to a milk jug for easier pouring. My first layer is going to be berries, which I hope will look nice on top of this, heavy quotations, cake. Add gelatin as you go to avoid air bubbles forming. Next up, and the main body of the cake, is a thick layer of mealworms. And some gelatin. As I was going, I remembered reading that in orchards, hedgehogs like to snack on apples. So I'm adding a thin sliced apple. The slices are thin, so the hedgehogs can fit them into their tiny mouths. And the apple is from a tree in our garden, so definitely no pesticides.
As the bed of the cake, I'm using a bed of thyme and grasses. Mostly for scent, but also to add a little bit of fiber. Use a fork to push things down a little, to soak all parts in gelatin so everything will keep together once it sets. Now let the gelatin cool to room temperature and then leave it in the fridge overnight to set. It's the next day. So the thorny business of getting the gelatin back out of the cake tin. Running a knife around the edges will help a lot. In an act of incredible optimism I tried to just turn it upside down, but surprisingly it didn't just pop out of the tin. Next, I try to warm up the jelly with my hands. But all that did was give me cold hands. Then I did what I should have done from the start. I got out a bowl and a grit and then I boiled some water and poured it over the cake tin. I wasn't even halfway around when I heard the gelatin drop out of the mold. Ta-da! Now some decoration with some mealworms and a few oats. If I was a hedgehog, that would look delicious to me. I'm setting it down in the spot where they usually get their food. Right next to it, they can get some water and they can hide in the hellebore. Let's see how they liked it. Yep, I'm going to count that as a roaring success. Since we're on the topic of hedgehogs, I went back into the archives to find the cutest hedgehog videos I filmed as a little treat. I hope you enjoy them.
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe?